Examples of where a lot of men add extra mental load for women, calling from the grocery store edition. Hey honey, what aisle is the tomato sauce in? Hi, uh, excuse me, can you tell me what aisle the tomato sauce is in? Hey honey, what size diapers does our toddler need? Let's see, looking at those old Amazon orders, there's gotta be a size for a diaper in there somewhere. Hey honey, I see the regular cheeses, but I don't see the family size option. Which one should we get? See, they don't have family size, which is usually the best option, but our toddler is going to need Cheez-Its if we're going to survive that six-hour car ride. All right, we're just going to have to get two of these. Make an executive decision. Hey, honey, I saw peanut butter on there. Do you want chunky or creamy? And or like, do you care about, like, if it's, like, the natural sugar versus, like, the high fructose corn? So, I mean, that stuff's way cheaper. Let's see. She doesn't... I don't remember the last time I've had chunky peanut butter in the house. I'm pretty sure it's probably just creamy. And let's see. Given that it's, like... $2 cheaper and we're really tight in cash. We've been making a lot of other cuts. I think we'll be fine with the cheaper stuff. I don't think we've ever gotten that expensive brand before. The last time I remember calling Alyssa from the grocery store was at least five years ago. So it's a little bit of a shot in the dark. Let me know in the comments which ones I missed. Guys, if you're one of the ones asking these questions from the grocery store, I would recommend doing something like what Peapod does with us. Rather than just waiting for her to find out what changes or replacements you made, put together a small list of what the things are that you made executive decisions on. I'm betting that small activity shows that you put thought into the swap rather than carelessly weaponizing incompetence.